Primo Levi is significant because he was really one of the very first Holocaust survivors to write about what they experienced. My name is Kira Schuster and I'm a curator at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Today I'm here to talk about the Primo Levi collection. It is the original draft manuscript of his 1946 book, If This Is a Man. Primo Levi was born in Turin, Italy. He lived there with his mother and father and sister. He went to school there. He studied chemistry. After he graduated, he worked uh, at a chemical factory for a while uh, and eventually quit that and joined a partisan group. And it was when he was with the partisan group that he was arrested by the Germans and sent to the Fasoli transit camp in Italy. In February 1944, the Germans put Primo Levi on a transport along with 650 others to Auschwitz. He was then assigned to the Monowitz camp, which was a factory, and he worked there as a slave laborer with a number of other men from a wide variety of countries and backgrounds. As the Soviet army approached at the end of 1944, beginning of 1945, uh, Primo got very sick with scarlet fever and he was now in the hospital wing at Auschwitz. When the Germans decided to evacuate the camp and send most of the prisoners out on a death march, the men who were still sick in the hospital remained and were abandoned and left behind. And that's where they were when the Soviets then liberated the camp uh, in January 1945. After Levy returned to Italy, he couldn't sleep. He was very traumatized by his experiences, and in order to help him process what he had been through, he just began frantically writing, and it just came pouring out of him. And after he was done writing these chapters, he was trying to find a publisher, and so he reached out to his cousin Anna, who had immigrated to the United States during the war. He was hoping that she might be able to use her contacts to help find a publisher for his book, but they were denied uh, publication. They felt it was too soon and people weren't ready to read about it. So after that, Anna held on to the manuscript. She had it filed away in her filing cabinet until she passed away. And then at that point, her daughters inherited it. And it was her daughters who made the decision to donate the manuscript to the museum last year. What we have is actually one of the original drafts of his first book written in Italian. We have 10 chapters. He made handwritten edits and corrections and some additions. Levy was able to get the book published in 1947 in Italy under its original Italian title, uh, most commonly translated to If This Is a Man. It was published in the United States in 1959, but they renamed it Survival in Auschwitz. Primo Levi is important to me because for a lot of us, he was the first survivor whose testimony we read. I've always found his writing so honest and so powerful and uh, very relatable in, in trying to understand what he may have experienced. Whenever I get to handle this collection or view it in person, I still get chills. And to know that I am now responsible and the museum is now responsible for handling and taking care of these papers that he himself typed, it's a very awesome responsibility and certainly one that I take very seriously and my colleagues here at the museum take very seriously as well.